welcome back to Driveway. Today, we're going to have a special little science day where we get to check out a couple different uh, heat treatment things that I have on hand for doing things like a firewall or something along the lines of that. I've got the panel that goes right in front of the turbo and the wastegate that's on the interior of the Crossfire. And it got insanely hot on the trip to Omaha last year. So we're gonna test out a couple things and see which one works the best. Now I'm sure we already know by when we look at them what's gonna work the best. But it's just kinda nice to get a quantifiable concept on that. So let's go and get started. All right, so what we have here are four different blanks of some sort of heat treatment. Of course, we've got the control, which is just the uh, first one, enameled. Second one is with this reflective, shiny, super thin sheet stuff. It's kind of your DEA heat shield type of thing. Then we got this thicker fiberglass heat tape. And then we have some Silex, kind of reflective and foam based stuff. And then I've got some special stuff down there that I want to test out as well. So we're going to rig our thing up onto the table here with a heat gun, set it up to run maybe 30 seconds, and then we'll be able to see which one reigns supreme. So essentially what we're just going to do is throw a blink up there on the shelf. We will find something like our welding plate. So we'll be at the same angle for everything. All right, so we're just going to flip her to high and hit start. We're gonna run it to about 30 and call it. So that was about 172. That was our control. Let's go with our next one. Let's rev that one up. Now yeah, we see the 171 as well. Now there is a slight other difference, is this one has uh, more heat radiated throughout the entire piece of metal, where this was just, just by the uh, warmth factor, was just localized. So, don't know whether that's good or bad. We're about 138 and it's still climbing. kind of holding steady at 140. 
This is another localized heat. The weird part is this side over here is not hot at all, but this here is holding quite a bit of heat. Now let's go with the Silex. Like of all these uh, cheap runs of this, I've probably got the most uh, hope for this one. So let's fire it up. Ninety-three and climbing a little bit. Ninety-five. We'll wait until it stops going up. There, we've had a equilibrium, so we're at ninety-five. This is barely even warm to the touch. This side isn't either. But, we are getting a little bit of melting of the foam. So what I'd be real curious to see is, after we're done, we'll see how hot the uh, surface temperature back here is actually getting. All right, I'm going to wager this concoction works even better. So what I have here is two layers of a carbon-based fire mat and a heat shroud that was taken off of the uh, crossfire. And it's an aluminum-based heat shield, so let's see what we got. We're at 85, so we're at a five degree disadvantage. Let's crank her up. Let's see where it stops. I guess we can probably call it 96 because we're kind of hitting a pause in it. So now I'm curious what happens if we crank it up a little bit longer. that something. Now just out of curiosity, it's well past 200 on this other side. Cool enough, you can pick it up. 
that's not bad. And the fun part is, you can see that the metal grill on that heat gun See what temperature we're looking at. <laughs> 600 degrees. So at 600 degrees, that would be roughly uh, probably your really hot exhaust. Probably going to the turbo probably going to be in that 1100 and you'll get somewhere in that vicinity so that's a decent real world test going on previously what I was working around with was this guy <laughs> So that's pretty much what we'd call a test. Uh, this essentially would simulate a exhaust leak right next to your firewall or something like that. Uh, usually you wouldn't have heat directed at an item. You just have the radiant heat. So I would call this some good accomplishment. So. That Silex works really well. It also has a tendency to start melting at high surface temperatures. But it's still holding together pretty well. So I'd probably keep that not as something to set in between a uh, valuable something and an exhaust header but my creation over here you're never going to light up that carbon based welding mat so just for the high temperature I probably am going to go with my strange concoction on my panel I had already thrown on this uh, heat shield stuff but I had a sneaking suspicion that it was going to squat so a little bit of that and a little bit of that, we'll just bolt it to it, and then we'll just come in with this halfway decent fiberglass tape and tape any seams that uh, may have to try to keep the air out. And I'm going to also make some sort of quilted interior piece to keep the transmission tunnel from scorching my leg. I guess this is a good time to stop. Thank you for stopping by and watching our little science experiment. Hopefully you enjoyed it and got something worthwhile out of it. So, if you did enjoy, make sure you like and subscribe and that type of stuff. And we'll catch you again later.